I thought it would be a challenge. <laughs> That's the first thing. I thought that young people are actually more capable. And also that Shakespeare in itself is, is incredibly magical and so otherworldly that it actually really enticed them rather than pushed them away. I've been finding it fun. This is the first time I've done Shakespeare. My royal lord did not give the cheer. My apologies, the cheer I shall give. And we, we didn't approach the, the language first. We approached with the story and the hook of, do you like witches? I knew I was always going to start there with the magic and the witches and the mystery and just playing what witches might look like and what sense is and we did lots of ensemble work and soundscapes and stuff. Then we talked about stories, just your generic stories like your, your fairy tales and things like that and how they always end really good and everyone's really happily ever after and said so, well does it always have to be like that? So then we introduced the story of Macbeth, we went through the beats and the tableaus and they were great because they at first they didn't understand why. <laughs> they were like, so he's the main character but I don't like him. <laughs> so it's bad and fair, and I haven't seen. Found as the day goes on, Macbeth. I kind of understand it for plot with the witches and Macbeth, but you're learning new things every day. I find it fun to use the Shakespearean words, but I have always been a fan of these aren't my scenes, but I've always liked the bits where the witches do the rhyming rituals because. I really like those bits, yeah. So you're going to come from here, but exit here is nice. Now, Arthur, I want you to look over your kingdom and sometimes you look at Mark. Oh! We spent four months just learning about the world of Macbeth in its original form. Um, from all the characters and where they come from, family tree, until we decided to sort of rip it all apart and put it in a car park. Yeah, the version's a bit different. We're doing it set in like um, gangs and stuff, like streets. So we've shortened it a bit. And also, they, they've done a bit less Shakespearean writing so everybody can understand. They were so comfortable and confident within the world of Macbeth. When they started to talk about costumes and what am I going to wear? I said, well, do you want to wear like some armour and a kilt and all have Scottish accents? And they went, no. I said, well, you know the story, put it somewhere else. What's it about? Well, it's about power and greed and um, someone wanting something so much and believing in myth and fantasy. You're like, oh, okay. And then we talked about easy access of stuff and costume and how easy it would be so if you, we were talked about like wearing modern day clothes and then you're talking about phones so how do phones influence that modern adaptation so they talked about the witches they are the keeper of phones and they send little messages to people so then that link then one of the girls picked up that um, by the pricking of our thumbs something wicked this way comes was a text message they were texting Macbeth pray you keep seat the fit is momentary. Upon a thought, he will again be well. My favourite bit is probably um, my monologue. My big monologue. Oh, 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 wash your hands. Look not so pale. I tell you yet again, back was buried. If you knock him out of his grave, give me your hand. What's done cannot be undone. I will again return to the weird sisters. For more shall they speak. For more I need to know what comes of thee now and future present. They're, they're so good at clinging to an idea and just running with it. That's like, the, that's their trait. And although they are like young people and they love like to show back, part of me does think that they go, do you know what the best bit is actually making it? And that's just, the performance is just the cherry on the icing on the cake. <laughs> <laughs>